In this segment of the scenario, we are illustrating how one WFS can be initialized with data from another WFS for the purpose of geosynchronization. Initialization is accomplished using two new capabilities developed during the OWS8 testbed. The first capability is the ability to create new feature types in the data store of a WFS using the new create schema operation. The second capability is a new open standards based data format called Geodata Bulk Transfer Format or GBT. On the left side of the screen I have a browser set up with two tabs to simulate a source and a target machine. Within each tab I am running the CubeWorks Stratos dashboard which has been enhanced to act as a GBT export and import client. The first tab is meant to represent a global and national level WFS from which data will be exported into a GBT file. In this case, the server is an interactive instruments WFS. The second tab is meant to represent a National Guard HQ WFS into which data will be imported from a GBT file. In this case, the server is a CubeWorks WFS enhanced with the Create Schema operation. This WFS is currently empty. On the right side of the screen, I have an email client set up monitoring two accounts that will receive notifications from the Stratos client. First, we assume the role of the global and national level WFS. We begin the initialization process by exporting data from the WFS into a GBT. This is done by selecting the bulk export button in the Stratos client. The dialog box that appears lists all the feature types available from the Interactive Instruments WFS. We select a few feature types. And we hit the Add Selected button. We also enter a notification email address, then hit the Export button to create a GBT file containing the selected data. As the pop-up indicates, the Stratos client will notify us via email when the GBT file is ready. The notification email from the Stratos client contains a link to the GBT file which is saved onto local disk. This file can now be transmitted to the National Guard HQ either electronically or copied onto some media and physically delivered to the National Guard HQ. Switching roles now to National Guard HQ, we have received the GBT file and are ready to import it. Hitting the bulk import button on the Stratos console brings up a dialog box that allows us to select the previously delivered GBT file for import. The bulk import utility reads the manifest from the GBT and presents a list of feature types that can be imported. In this case, we select all the feature types and hit the import button. Once again, Stratos will send an email notification when the data has been imported into the target server. We can now verify that the features have been imported using the Stratos' visualization client.